P365. Shield Plus. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the Sig Sauer P365 versus the M&P Shield Plus. The Sig has been around for about three and a half years now and the Shield Plus was released a couple months ago. Both striker fire 9mm handguns with double stack mags. Let's start with the P365. A lot of people love this gun, became very popular. It has a 3.1 inch barrel, it currently has a 12 round mag, but you're looking at about 500 to 550 for this handgun and a lot of people carry it with confidence. And over here we've got the Shield Plus, a new release from Smith & Wesson. It has a 13 round mag included as well as a 10 round mag and now you're looking at an MSRP of 553 for this one. This is not a performance center model. So you're looking at around 550 and it's currently selling right around the MSRP. The performance center models are about $200 more. They do offer the four inch barrel that has a slide cut for an optic. But if we look at these handguns, both are considered subcompact, but the Shield Plus is larger. If we look at the slide length, you can see about a half inch there. Here we've got an additional round in the Shield Plus on the right. Not a great difference with that additional round. Grip width looks to be approximately the same. But what you're really going to notice is the width this way. If we look at the Shield Plus, the grip is much wider. So if we align them like this, you'll see that you're looking at a wider grip. Now that's a preference thing. I'm not going to give an advantage one way or another. It does fill the hand quite a bit, but those who pocket carry may find this a little cumbersome as where the SIG, you know, you can just feel your fingers reach all the way around. It, it has a much more subcompact feel to it. So there's no question that this is a larger gun and it's a little bit heavier as well if we get it on the scale we'll start with 12 rounds we're going to stick with 12 rounds with each of them and we've got the p365 weighing in at one pound seven and three quarters ounces just ounces we're looking at 23 and three quarters ounces we put the shield plus with the same 12 rounds depending on what mag just shy of 26 25 and 7 8 ounces so you're looking at two ounces lighter with the p365 p365 looking at the grip texturing i don't see a great difference when i feel the P365 and the M&P Shield Plus both have texturing all around. Not a great difference when you feel the gun. I don't think either will irritate the skin. The mag release sits pretty nicely. You know, you don't have to change your grip angle with the P365. No problem here either. All right, mags, deployment, just fine. If we look at the slide you can see that the has scalped like serrations a little bit in the front here i don't get that i don't understand why they just didn't run slide serrations move the engraving back here the sig does have front serrations and i actually am one of those guys that use those for press checks so i'm giving the advantage there now if you look at the finish you'll see more of a matte black finish over here more of a gloss i like the gloss a little more i think it helps with holster wear not that that's a big deal but it is worth mentioning i like the slide serrations better with the sig i'm giving the advantage there and then if we look at the sights here we've got standard three dot sight now they are steel sights and over here we've got x-ray three sights now these two pistols cost right around the same even a little bit less with the sig but sig is offering x-ray three night sights out of the case and i think that's a nicer touch big advantage to sig for offering that with the purchase of the pistol shield plus
both of these pistols offer a very nice fit and finish. They should. It's Sig Sauer and Smith & Wesson. Looking at the trigger guard, you can see a little bit longer with the Sig. This currently has the Sig X trigger in there, so it makes it look a little smaller, but we, we measure them side by side, and it's a little bit longer with the Sig. I think you can still fit a gloved finger in there, but it would be a little tight. This has the X trigger installed aftermarket, it goes about 50 bucks. Makes the trigger guard look a little smaller, but it's actually wider. The P365 also has a rail. Now you are stuck with six hour accessories, but you do have that option if you prefer that on your pistol, as where it is not available with the MP Shield Plus. P365 self defense loads. Smith & Wesson ventured away from the hinge trigger on the shield models. I never thought they would, but they did. And they created a very nice trigger pull with this Shield Plus. I measure it right at five and a quarter pounds. Nice break, no over travel, and a reset right there. Not very audible. A lot of people like those audible resets. But it is a short reset. I already mentioned this is an aftermarket trigger, but that didn't change the poundage. Here we have a flat face trigger called the X trigger. You're looking at a five and a quarter pound trigger pull. So the, the weight is the same, at least on my scale. And a little more audible here. Approximately the same reset. I, I can't really say one way or another i'm gonna just give it to smith on this because they are innovative although sig offers the flat face trigger it's a preference matter i'll let the viewers decide shield plus self-defense loads Both pistols have a sight hole indicator to look down and see if you have a round loaded. Not a big deal. It's become fairly common with many modern pistols. To disassemble, lock the slide back. They disassemble the exact same way. You push that lever down, unlock the slide, and you pull the trigger. Some people say you don't have to pull the trigger, but you actually do have to pull the trigger. And here we have a dual recoil spring, a steel guide rod, and a three-point one inch barrel the sig disassembles the exact same way you're going to lock the slide back take that lever located in the same position release the slide and then you do not need to pull the trigger and here we've got the frame dual recoil spring all steel guide rod and a 3.1 inch barrel one thing worth noting is that the sig has longer slide rails you can see right there I don't know that that's going to make a difference with accuracy or longevity. I tend to think not just because the shield has been around a long time and that, that has proven reliable throughout the years. And, you know, if, if it's a proven method, then I'm pretty confident that it will be fine. And the P365 has been around, had some initial problems upon its launch, but they seem to clear that up very well and they you know do a great job with this now you may have noticed i did not have to manually push that lever back it, it uh, instantaneously did that upon the reassemble federal syntec p365 Holster support is available for each of these pistols. Shield Plus owners can rest assured that a holster made for the original shield with the 3.1 inch barrel will work with the Shield Plus no problem. This holster was included with the SIG P365 attack pack. It's okay. However, every holster producer makes a P365 holster. This handgun is being carried so much that they would be foolish not to. They are available. I've taken these guns to the range on a couple occasions, shot them side by side to get a impression as to how they feel. Let's start with the Shield Plus. Feels like a larger gun. I know it's a larger gun. I already showed the dimensions, but when you grip it and you shoot it, it just gives that compact size 
feel to it. Now, it is accurate. I will say, I, I had no problem at all with the accuracy or any of the shield models that I've shot in the past. I had a few issues initially, failure to eject, and it did not pass the limpress test. Those are probably growing pains. I don't want to make a big deal out of that. I just want to share my experiences. I was happy with the accuracy. I do like what they did with the trigger and the 13 round magazine capacity is great for a handgun this size. Very happy with the shooting impressions, primarily the trigger, the capacity, and we'll see about those failures to eject. The P365 is a great shooter. Now, I haven't owned this a long time, although I'm very familiar with both of these handguns, and uh, it shot exactly as I hoped it would. I did run some various loads through it, never had a problem with either of them, and I'm very happy with the size and weight of this gun. Both have 3.1 inch barrels, but this is a smaller profile. You know, this could be pocket carried a little more comfortable than the Shield Plus. I think that this offers more to the CCW. Each gun fires great. I don't have a problem with either of them. I just like the way this handles and being that they are subcompact handguns that this one is just more suitable for CCW. Federal Syntax Shield Plus. If I had to choose one of these pistols for carry, I already gave it away, I'm choosing the P365. I think there are some advantages with the Shield Plus. If you have large hands, if you're not looking to pocket carry, if you enjoy that trigger, which I do, this is a nice gun. I think they did a nice job with the 13 round mag, also includes a 10 round mag, and they kept it within the Shield line of pistols, which has become so popular throughout the years, and I know Smith sells a ton of them. But I'm going with the SIG P365. I like the smaller size, I like the, the weight, the way it feels, the ergos on it, for me, are a little bit better. It is an accurate shooter. You know, each of these, you, you have to put your time in, but I, I find this to be an accurate shooter. It spits out everything that I run through it. I'm very happy with it so far, and I think each of these, are great guns for carry, but if I had to choose one, I'm going with the Sig Sauer P365. I want to know which one you would choose. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.